Hey YouTube, so I just got back from Cleveland. I went to the Cleveland Natural Hair Care Expo at the Hilton Garden Inn down downtown Cleveland. I had a good time. I got there a little bit late, but I was able to go to some classes and visit a lot of the vendors, um, especially the ones that um, I knew were going to be there and products that I wanted to buy. Um, I missed uh, Michelle George, but that's okay. I saw her at the, at the Toledo Expo, and I did get to sit in on... Um, uh, hair care, uh, a hair care class by Ladoche Wright. Um, she has beautiful, beautiful hair. Her hair is uh, natural, but she actually was wearing it straightened. Um, and she talked about, um, you know, what healthy hair is, about how hair can be colored and can be um, styled with heat without uh, damaging it. Uh, I also sat in on the uh, art of styling natural hair. Uh, with Miss, uh, her name is Aziza Nicholson, and she, you know, showed some various styling techniques like two strand flat twists and such. Um, I was also able to sit in on a class, Lock 101, Miss uh, Malika Tamu Cooper. Uh, she talked a lot about locks and what uh, what is required of your hair in order to start locks and some techniques used for starting locks. Uh, so those classes were nice and very informative. I didn't stay to the end. There were a couple more classes that I missed. But I also got to visit some vendors. Um, and here are a couple of them. Um, I stopped by uh, the Egyptian Corner. And they had various types of art. Um, Egyptian Afrocentric type art. Um, pictures and such. From that vendor, I picked up perfume bottles. So I like these. Uh, this one is gold accent and it's the kind where you would pick up your perfume and put it on this way. Okay. And I can go with my other perfume bottles. And I also picked up the cute little pink one with a flower design. Okay, I stopped by uh Connie's Elegant Fashions and there I got this um, bracelet. Okay, this bracelet was only $8, but the thing is that it fits my hand. So even though I have really big hands, I can get this over my wrist, and then it can also be worn as a choker. So I like the versatility of it. The pricing was good. I mean, $8 really isn't that much at all, and the fact that it fit around my wrist. I was looking at a lot of bracelets yesterday. I mean, earlier today, and that I couldn't put on because, like I said, I'm about about six feet tall, and I got I have really big hands, so I can't always get some of those girly bracelets over my hands. And I thought that was really cute. It's like a, a teal pearl look. Um, I stopped by Glam Jewelry and Accessories, and I got this necklace, which I adore. I thought it was uh, gorgeous. Everything at their, all of their jewelry is $20 or less. So that was great. This was only $14. Oh, and it came with earrings. I didn't even notice that until just now. I won't be able to wear them, but uh, it came with earrings. But I really like the necklace, especially for $14. Um, I stopped by a Detroit vendor um, and I was able to pick up a magazine with a subscription, $5 for uh, five issues of the magazine. And this is good because I'm kind of cut off here at Jackson from, I don't know, a lot of stuff having to do with natural hair and a lot of stuff having to do with pretty much anything black down here in Jackson, Michigan. So I like that I was able to get this magazine a subscription. Maybe I'll be able to be more in touch with some stuff that I you know, don't know about. Usually I have to go to expos to find out about stuff. Um, I also stopped by a local uh, fellow YouTuber, Samara from growblackhair.net. I stopped by and I was able to get some of her um, Ambrosia hair products. I have been looking to get those. Okay. Um, I got her Satin Curls Detangling Leave-In, and I have her Caramel Souffle Styling Cream, okay. 
and I had been wanting to get those together. These were $27, so really not very expensive at all. Um, I think they were, I think it was 12 and 17 I believe. But the two of them together, $27. Have been looking for those. I'll do a product review on them as soon as I use them. And also just got some samples. Uh, olive oil hair strengthener and travel cool roots twist cream so I had a good time uh, in the little time I was there I was there for maybe three and a half hours uh, I didn't want to stay too late because I had a three and a half hour drive to get back and forth but I'll put some pictures at the end so that you can see some of the vendors that were there uh, see how crowded it was I mean they had to have an awesome turnout of they are gonna definitely have to find someplace else to have that next time because there were so many people there. We were really crowded in there. But it was a very good learning experience. Uh, I would definitely go if they have one again. Thanks for watching.